you're still going to get your butt kicked a little more often. Yeah, but it'll, be, it'll be better. You have a fighting chance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This Marquee Dragon video is sponsored by Shattered Crystal, Game Codes, and Items. Hello, I'm Marcus Eikenberry um, from MarqueeDragon.com, and uh, I'm at the Login Conference. Here I got with me Rob, is it Bartlett? That's right, Bartlett. Yeah, so Rob has a really interesting uh, product. It's, it's whatthefast.com, and you can probably explain this better, but basically it allows you to have a really high ping time and reduce it mm -hmm. so that's that right. you can remove a lot of the latency in the game. Yeah, that's right. So t tell us a little bit about it. Um, basically what, what the fast does is it improves the route that the game data takes from the client computer to the game server. Um, in most cases, we can cut the latency at least in half. Um, using my own personal experience, I play from Kelowna, BC, in Canada, and my latency is usually, usually around 300 to 250, and I can usually cut it down to about 50 milliseconds. Um, that makes over... a huge difference. Oh, well, 50 so, milliseconds is almost instantaneous. Yeah, so, um, you know, when you're, at, when you're at like 300 to 500, it's still playable, mm -hmm. but when you get into PvP, oh, yeah. you can get your ass kicked. Yeah, like 300 milliseconds, um, like when you think of it, um, like if you were in a fight with someone, if, if you had to wait like half a second before you could respond to them, you get your butt kicked, and the same thing right. happens online. And um, yeah, so basically what we're doing is just tr trying to make it as fast as possible. Uh, people in the US and Canada can benefit a lot from it, um, but people who really see a benefit are the people who are overseas, um, mm -hmm. Asia, South America, Europe, Australia. So we see at Shatter Crystal, we sell uh, a lot of game codes to um, US servicemen. Mm -hmm. And they're like in Afghanistan yeah. or you know wherever. Yeah, we help them out too. Yeah, and um, I think there is one of the places where it would really benefit because their their ping times are outrageous. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like most of them, they're like if you're there in Iraq or Kuwait or whatever, um, a lot of a lot of the times they're up to like two thousand milliseconds. It's insane how high. Two thousand, you can't do anything with. No, that. no. So what can you do with somebody who's at two thousand? What 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 can you get it down to? Um, well, typically, like um, in Asia, in Europe, um, some places in Europe, Australia, we're usually looking at a bit over a thousand, and we can usually get them down to about three hundred. So, so it's, it's very playable with that. Yeah. Point. Oh, yeah, for sure. And even for PvP, like like you said, it's better to get a lower Light if you can. Light PvP. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> you're still gonna get your butt kicked a little more often. Yeah. It, but it'll be it'll be better. You have a fighting chance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, for me, myself, like I play WoW Arenas, and it makes a huge difference for WoW Arenas because, um, like, getting line of sight issues and timing issues, they have to be perfect, mm -hmm. um, and it makes a really big competitive advantage uh, for arena, WoW Arenas. So, so you have me sold on that. Mm -hmm. Now, there's another thing though. I understand that you have to install a piece of software mm -hmm. on your machine. Yeah, we just have a small client that has to be installed. It's only about two megabytes in size, really fast to download. Um, they just put it on their computer and they load what the fast before they play their game. Mm -hmm. So it uh, basically is just a matter of seconds and they're playing the game what the fast. It, it, it's really easy to set up. Um, we start off with the trial version. Uh, so people can actually try it before they buy it. Mm -hmm. um, the way the trial works is they play for about 20 minutes and then it'll disconnect them. So that way, 20 minutes is a long enough time that people can judge you can whether You kind of measure it and see yeah, whether or not it's and, having a yeah, good effect for you. Yeah, decide if it works. And if they so, but what I'm, what I'm getting to is mm -hmm. I'm worried that, would, would this be seen as an illegal third-party program? No, it's not. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, a lot of players, uh, like probably hundreds of thousands of players already play World of Warcraft through proxies. And basically what we are is we're, we're a fast proxy. We, we basically improve the route that the game data takes to get to the server. And Blizzard has no problems with that. Like I, I've actually gone through the forums and seen plenty of blue, blue posts um, from official representatives mm -hmm. saying, yeah, there's, there's nothing wrong with this. And, and that's, well, that's good. That's, that's great. It. They'll yeah. never give you a uh, written seal of approval. You know? No, no. Like, but that's, I mean, that's as close as you're going to get. Yeah, that's right. And, and we, we've got thousands of users. No one's ever had problems with anything like that. Um, it's very safe. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's just all around uh, works really good. It gets great results. So um, the program isn't free. No, no. Uh, it's subscription-based, right? Yeah, that's right. It's free to try. 
So if, if you don't mind getting disconnected from the game every 20 minutes, you're welcome to do it if you I like. would mind that, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but if, if, you're, if you want to have um, continuous play and you don't want to get disconnected, um, it's $5.99 a month. So okay. it's, it's not too bad. I mean, it, it's pretty inexpensive. And, so it um, works with World of Warcraft right now? Yeah, World of Warcraft and any TCP based game right now. Oh, so it is, it, you're doing that already? Yeah, now. yeah, we have support okay. for all TCP based games. And, and coming soon, uh, you'll be doing UDP as well? That's right, that's so, right. So for people who don't know the difference between a TP, TCP IP game and a mm -hmm. UDP game, can you explain that at all? Well, the difference is, if you give me your hand, this is a TCP based game. Okay. There's a handshake okay. between the client computer and the server computer. Okay. And that's the difference. Whereas UDP, it basically just sends the data. There's no handshake. Um, so TCP is a bit more secure. It okay. also takes a little bit more time as a result of that handshake. Um, and you, like, basically, the, the difference between the two is there's still the routing issue, and that's what we, what we help. Because um, if, if there's a, a bad route from the client computer to the game server, then that's what's causing the latency and lost packets and whatnot. Like if, if, if a packet is lost, it has to be resent, and that increases the latency quite a bit. Correct. So Correct. that's what we're, our goal is, is to, to improve all of that. And um, we're hoping to have UDP support, um, hopefully sooner than later, but definitely this year. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, okay. Well, I will link to um, What the Fast okay. in, uh, in this video in the description section. And uh, I think it's a great product. I'm really uh, proud of it. It's so, great. I like it. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's really great. So let's do the TCP IP yeah, handshake. Thank you very much, <laughs> Rob. I uh, appreciate you taking the time to come to the conference no and give me an opportunity to get you on camera. Great. Thank you. So, thank you, everybody. Everyone defines our lives and everything we do, our lives. I know we'll be all right because we're here.